Hey guys, it's me Rob with Oakwood Machine Works. I'm torn in my mini mill and wanted to do a quick video talking about what I'm working on. Uh, all of my lube lines are plugged off and initially I thought it was remnants from the purple grease because I went from purple to a stand-in for SH1150. Turns out my stand-in wasn't a very good stand-in. So it's hard to tell, but if you look, it's all congealed. It's not hardened. I guess compared to what it was, it's hardened, but it's just like a, if you melted a gummy bear and poured it into this thing. So what I think happened was because when I got the VF2, the mini mill started standing more uh, dormant. Over time, the stuff congealed from not being pushed through nearly as often and plugged everything off. Uh, give you a quick look inside the machine. This is a coverall kind of job. Uh, I've literally been crammed into the corner back there, and my right leg is now completely numb. But what I was just showing you is the restrictor off of the x-axis ball screw. Uh, the manifold is down there. Why they put it right there, I have absolutely no idea. They could have done a second manifold right here. They could have done one big manifold block. They could have done any number of things differently than what they did right here. Uh, but currently what I'm doing is I have a grease gun hooked up to the manifold. No pressure gauge, sketchy as heck. Uh, and I'm just pushing hydraulic oil through these lines. Uh, until I see flow coming out of the trucks here. Uh, so far what's happening is it's coming up really tight and I can feel that I'm having to put the pressure on it. And then all of a sudden it breaks free and one of the trucks start weeping oil, which is good. So then you plug off that port and keep going until you see the other one start getting oil. If you're lucky, you don't have to plug off each manifold port. Uh, I had to plug off two on the X. For the Y, I was able just to pump it as quickly and hardly as I could. And eventually, uh, they all started flowing. Uh, I may pull the one off of the y-axis while I'm in here, but I did see oil dripping from that, so it's safe to assume we're good. It's not like a hard-packed paraffin, like, uh, like the purple grease did. What's really important to note, though, is if you have any of a soft line, whether it's the quarter-inch main feed or like an eighth-inch going to the ball screw, you have to be super careful not to blow that out. Uh, it doesn't look like any of a y-axis is that. I do need to check that because I didn't realize that that was a possibility because all I saw was copper. Uh, but all of the sheet metal is pulled off. It's an absolute nightmare. Uh, these pans suck. There's like a tray, a two-part tray that wraps around the carriage. Uh, absolute nightmare. I have no idea what the Z is going to be holding for me and I'm not looking forward to getting into that. But yeah, it's uh, working so far. We're a day and a half into it. And I was starting to question whether or not I should have paid Haas to do it. Uh, the quote I got after I started into the job I asked is about $2,300. For me, it would make no sense to pay $2,300 for that. Uh, if you're lucky, or you're doing better than I am in business, then it probably makes a lot of sense. Luckily, so the same problem was happening with the tan grease, and that's what the VF2 was. I got that changed out. Uh, I need to go through and check everything again. In fact, I may pull the weight covers back and basically do do what I'm doing here on the VF2. Should be a lot easier, I think. Basically impossible to get those off. Uh, if you did have to replace them, you might be able to grind on a wrench, and if you can get everything at the right angle, you might get it. Uh, God help you. Now I'm going to crawl back into the machine, and I'm not sure whether I'm hoping the x-axis doesn't move, and push my head against it, or if I just really hope it does. So far with this job, I'm really hoping it does. Take it easy, guys, and if you have the purple or tan grease, get rid of that crap.
and use the new oil from Haas because it's an actual oil. It's like a 470 weight uh, mineral oil. Much better than the crap they've been making us push through. Have a good one, guys.